welcome to Q Live. I'm Marina Berry. It's 1 p.m. And today is Kate Middleton's birthday. There she is. So we're giving away a royal 500 pounds. You know the deal. I've got 12 questions for you. Very easy to very hard. You'll have to 10 seconds to tap your answer. If you get all 12 right, you'll win or split the cash. Plus, I have more chances for you to win. I've hidden a secret £50 berry bonus behind one question in today's show. If you get that right, you could be selected to win a nifty 50 and you won't have to share any of it. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. This could be your lucky day. Get ready to play. Let's play. So up first, I have a picture question for you. Now, this is a picture of a famous toy. So take a look at your screen. Do you see it? Here's your question. Q1. What is the name of this famous line of toys? Deformers, transformers or informers? Now, when I was younger, I was actually terrified of one toy in particular. It was called Sunny Jim. Look him up on Google now. So, well, not now, obviously, you're playing the game. Uh, later. <laughs> Sunny Jim. Sunny Jim. It was terrifying, this guy, really craggy face. Anyway, uh, Transformers is the answer we were looking for. And that particular character was called Optimus Prime. Oh, yeah. Q2. According to the well-known saying, what is mightier than the sword, the people, the keyboard, or the pen? Now, this saying was first spoken by an English author in 1839. It also appears in the Beach Boys song, student demonstration but what is mightier than the sword the answer is the pen now up next i've got another picture question for you this is a picture of a well-known bird so take a look at your screen do you see it lovely bird here's your question q3 what type of bird is this is it a kingfisher is it a woodpecker or is it a bird of paradise now speaking of birds ostriches they've got the largest eggs of all birds and contain, they contain, uh, contain the equivalent of 24 chicken-sized eggs. That's a lot of omelettes. I don't actually eat eggs. I can't stand eggs. I don't care if they're scrambled, boiled, poached. Not interested. Kingfisher is the answer. It's a lovely-looking bird, a kingfisher. Now, remember, I've hidden a £50 berry bonus behind one question in today's show. So keep your eyes peeled. It's coming up. Q4. In 1863, who delivered the Gettysburg Address? George Washington. Thomas Jefferson or Abraham Lincoln. The address contained 272 words and was addressed in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Hence the name, Gettysburg Address, of course. The answer we're looking for, though, do you, do you know it? Do you know it? Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Q5. Justin Bieber's fashion label, The House of Drew, recently launched which of these clothing items? Reinvented scarf, cheap hotel slippers or distressed beanies? Now, this item of clothing was actually sold for $4.99 and it sold out shortly after being released. Everyone wants them. What are we talking about? Cheap hotel slippers. Do you want to have a look at them? Let's have a look. I mean, they're quite uninspiring, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, they are very uninspiring, aren't they? Actually, I want a pair. Who can get me some? Uh, Q6. Which of the following men has not walked on the moon? Alan Bean, Michael Collins or David Scott? Now, speaking of moons... Do you remember the, uh, that Jaffa Cake advert where the teacher used to play, explain about the moon by eating Jaffa Cakes in front of the class? She used to go, full moon, and then bite one. Half moon. Total eclipse. Michael Collins is the answer we were looking for. Now don't forget, that £50 berry bonus is on its way. It's so close, I can almost smell it. So look out for it. Up next, I have another picture question for you. You'll need to look very carefully at the image on your screen. Are you ready? Here's a question. Q7. What number was on the shorts of the hockey player in the red shirt? 13, 16 or 19? Now, I didn't play hockey at school, but I did play netball. I was always either goal attack or goal shooter. I was never centre because centre had to run everywhere and I'm lazy. Uh, the answer is it's 19. How observant were you? Uh, now, it's time for question eight. Yes! It's a £50 very bonus! Now, someone who gets this question right will be randomly selected to win a nifty 50. Best of luck. Here's your question. Q8. Michael, the situation, Sorrentino, found fame on which US reality TV show? Was it Jersey Shore, 
Keeping Up With The Kardashians or Deadliest Catch? Now remember, this is worth £50 to someone who gets this question right and you won't have to share it with anybody. Be selected at random and it'll be all yours. The answer is Jersey Shore. Let's reveal the winner then of today's £50 bonus. It's Official Buxton. Official Buxton, congratulations. Your account will be credited in the next seven days with that £50. Let's get back to the game. Here's Q9. Which of the following is not referred to in the 96 or the 98 version of the song Three Lions? David Beckham, Paul Ince or Nobby Styles? Now, Three Lions is one of only three songs to reach number one on two occasions with different lyrics. Mm. I think Man by Number Five was one of them. Uh, and Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder was another one. Uh, the answer is David Beckham. Mm. Now, don't forget, if you got knocked out on that question, use your free life right now to get back into the game. Q10. Which of these bands released a 2010 album reportedly named after a character from the TV series Lost? Linkin Park? They might be Giants or Weezer. Now, I've actually not seen this. It's one of those programs that everyone's seen and everyone always says, oh, you'd love it, you'd love it. I've never, ever seen it. I need to, like, do the whole box set. I think it would take me a few months, though. Uh, the answer is Weezer. Lots of you using your lives there, so well done. Now, we're just in time for our penultimate question. Are you ready for this? It's Q11. Which of the following has not judged the woman's prize for fiction? Sarah Pascoe, Sue Perkins, or Sandy Toxvig. The Women's Prize for Fiction is actually an annual award for the best full-length novel written by a woman, and it's one of the UK's most prestigious literary prizes. The answer we were looking for, though, is Sue Perkins. Well done to those of you who got it right. You've made it to the final question. You've not done very well. You've done very well! It's time to see if you can beat the two. Okay, so Q12, okay, this is for 500 pounds. Which of these is not a land invented by the wonderful Wizard of Oz author L. Frank Farm? Adj, Ev, or Ix? This is for 500 pounds. If you know the answer to this, amazing. You'd have already pressed it by now. Very famous author, Adj, Ev, or Ix? The answer is Adj. 243 of you, congratulations. You'll be sharing 500 pounds. Pandora will be back tonight at 8 o'clock with a thousand pounds up for grabs. She'll also be revealing the winner of last night's golden queue. Until then, I'm Marina Berry and you've been extraordinary. Have a great day. I'm off to get some lunch. Don't know what I'm going to have. It'll probably be McDonald's or Burger King, something like that, some cheeseburger with a milkshake. Have a great day. I'll see you very soon. <laughs>